Hey everyone, let's take a look at how we can create this typing text animation using Vue.js and Tailwind. To get started, let's create a new Vue.js project using Vite. We can do so by running this command. You can swap out my Vue project for anything you'd like as the name of your project. So let's run this command and it will create our Vue.js project right here. Now that we are in our project directory, let's install all the packages that come with Vite and Vue.js. So we run npm install. Next, we can run npm run dev to run our development server. Control click on this IP address with port 5173 and this web page should open in your browser. Next, let's install Tailwind into our project. We run the following command and we see our Tailwind config file where we can configure our Tailwind settings. One of the things we have to do is tell Tailwind what files to look in for Tailwind classes. And we do that by setting our content. In this case, we say that our content is the index.html file and all the view, JS, TS, and JSX and TSX files in our source directory. Finally, we need to do one more thing, which is go into our source directory, look in the main.js file, what CSS file it's importing, go to that CSS file, in our case, empty it, since we don't care about the styles in the default Vue.js project, and paste in the following Tailwind imports. And next, we save this file. Now that we've done this, we've got our entire Vite Vue.js project with Tailwind set up and we can get started customizing the website to our liking. So we go to the app.view file and we remove all the code that's above our hello world component. There we go. And next we spin up our development server again. So we run npm run dev. Once it's spun up, we can see that our styles are now gone, but some of the contents of the page is still there. If we save, I believe the icons should disappear. Then we'll also remove the default styles that come on this page and we'll remove the text and contents from our hello world component. To do so, we remove the message prop, we save, go to our components directory and go to the hello world.vue.js file. There we remove all the file contents and set up a new Vue.js component template. In here we'll set the name and inside the main divs which are already in our template, we'll add the text hello world. Awesome. There we go. In order to get our typing text animation going, we'll have the hello world.view file as the component that represents our homepage. And then we'll create a new component, which we can reuse as our typing text animation component to which we can feed different text. So let's go to our components directory, right click, create new file, and we'll call it typed line.view. And once again, we'll fill it with an empty Vue.js template and setting the name. To ensure that we'll see our component, we'll add some text so that when we add it to our hello world.vue.js file, we know it correctly shows on screen. So in here, we paste the name and we go back to our hello world file. And there in the script text, we can say import typed line from dot slash type line dot view. And in order to have Vue.js register this as a component we can use in our template, we copy this name and to our default exports, we add the components attribute and in there we add our type line component. Now we copy this component name and replace the text hello world with our component. And once we save, we can see the text type line appear on our page. Now that we're done creating our component and showing it on page, let's start customizing it to look like the animated text we saw before. We add some CSS classes to make the parent div scale the entire page. And then we center the content of that div to the center of that page so that we have our type text in the middle. Then we go to our type text animation and we'll start adding some props. So one of the first things we want to customize when creating this component ourselves is we want to be able to pass it a string representing the text that we want to be typed out. So in our export default, we'll add the props attribute and we'll call the prop text. We'll say it's type string and it being required. Now, instead of showing our hard-coded type line string, we'll copy our word text, add a double curly brace and insert the text variable. We'll save, go back to our hello world, go to our type line and say text equals and save. And as you can see, the text we pass as prop now shows through the component. All right, next we need to take a look at another factor, which is the text that it shows versus the text that it knows it has to type out. So in our default exports, we'll now add our data attribute, which represents all the data that when updated, the page should also show that as the updated value. So we'll say text shown is an empty string. Alongside data, there's another thing we can add, which will be methods, which contains all the functions we can use in our template and in our Vue.js code. 
we'll say methods. And in those methods, we'll have the function start typing text, which will be the initial function that is called in order to start the text typing animation. In order to have the text type somewhat human, we introduce a random delay between typing different characters. So in our data, we'll add two things, mainly the minimum typing delay and the maximum typing delay, which we set to 22 and 37 milliseconds. Then in our start typing function, we'll create two local variables representing the text and the text that is currently being typed, which we also start out as an empty string. Then to actually start the animation and the typing, we'll call another function, namely type text. And we'll pass it our local variable text and text shown. Now let's create our type text method. Inside this function, we're simply going to check if the text and the shown text are equal. And if the shown text is shorter than the text that we want to type, we need to add another character. So let's do that. If the text is still longer than the text that is shown, then we take the shown text and we add to it the character in the text that we want at the index of the length of the shown text, which is exactly the index of the next character we are missing and needing to type. Once we've done that, we can set the data variable of text shown to our new text shown. So we say this dot text shown is equal to our text shown. And finally, we need to make sure that we call this function again recursively, but after some delay. So we say set timeout. And what do we do? Well, we create a inline function, which calls our type text function and passes to it text and text shown. As you can see, Copilot correctly completes the line and gives the random delay. The random delay is created by taking the difference between the maximum and the minimum delay, multiplying that by a random number between zero and one, and then adding the minimum delay. This way we get a delay exactly between 22 and 37 milliseconds. If we save our project now, we see that nothing happens on screen. And that is because we still haven't made our first call to start typing text. In Vue.js, we do that by adding functions to our mounted attribute. Everything we put in mounted is called when the component is mounted to the screen. So we say mounted, start typing text, and then we'll save and refresh. As you can see, still nothing happens. And that's because we forgot to make the shown text the text that is shown on screen. So we say text shown and we replace our text in our template with the text that is shown and we save. If we refresh the page, we can see that the text is now being typed out. Awesome, we've come a little further, but if we look at the original animation, we see that there is an actual ticker or blinker in front of the text, as well as some on hover indicators that show that the menu items are clickable. We'll take a look at how to do that in the second video. I hope you enjoyed this video on animating text in Vue.js. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Have a nice day. Peace.